John Riggs here. How are you feeling? It's been a long time since we've done one of these. Long time? Looks like a long time. Looks like a long time. All right. Uh, we've all been sick. I got back from the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, had a wonderful time, and came back with the sickness. I had a temperature. I had a fever. I was coughing up parts of my lungs. Um, and then as soon as I got better, then they both got it. So... Got it from. Yeah, wait a minute. I know, this is like, and, and they had their flu shots and everything. Um, and I was washing my hands, I was using hand sanitizer. And just something, was sick there, probably. something about breathing other people's air on an airplane is, um, I felt fine right up until I flew back home. And I think just the airplane did it in for me. That happens every once in a while. Ne never a good look. Can I tell them what one of the bad days bad. my temperature was? Yes. 101. <gasps> That's sick. Like and 101. Like and do you know what my sick. normal temperature was when I was sick? What's that? 101. Yeah, for a little while anyway. We will persevere. I have a few things to unbox. We're going to show off some cool stuff. Uh, a couple of gifts, some games. Um, some of the stuff I picked up at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo as well. Yes? And I know how everything's going to be, Dad. It's going to be pretty, pretty nice. nice. All right, that's our... Pretty fast. <laughs> And when we were sick, um, we ended up watching the new uh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. We watched Mac and Me, and that was one of the lines in it. All right, well, I'll just show this off really quickly. Um, I still plan on doing, I'm going to do a video on this, but I have this laying around, and I wanted to show this off really uh, as soon as I can. This oh, is Fork sense. Parker's Crunch Out. Fork Parker's Crunch Out. This is from Mega Cat Studios. Um, I'm a huge fan of Mega Cat Studios. I ordered a couple of things from them, and they're like, oh, dude, and check this out while you're at it, too. So uh, they, they totally hooked it up, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing more um, about this game uh, myself. I, have, I mean, I've been so out of it and sick and busy with uh, my son and busy with work and everything. I really haven't had a whole lot of time to, like, play a lot of video games. Um, but that's all kind of cleared up just for right now, so I'm going to play some more games. I'm going to get some more footage, and I want to get some more video game reviews out there as soon as I can anyway. Um, so thank you, Mega Cat Studios. I'm looking forward to checking that out. We should probably do this box this is um i am a paying backer on this i paid for this this is the magi mask uh what it is it is a vr ar uh VR -AR? it's a vr ar it's virtual reality it's virtual reality but then ar for augmented reality what it is is you put your i know it what happens is you put your phone in here but then it has an opening for your uh, for your camera, right there. So it's it's you can see the light. it's still VR. Wait, can I see? Your yeah, light. go for I'm it. it but then with that camera there, then you're looking through the phone, but you have the AR thing, so it's like you're at the park. You're really at a park, but then you can make it look like there's like a Millennium Falcon that lands at the park or something like that. So there's a couple of cool devices, uh, a couple of cool it. apps that are available. There's more apps being yeah. released for it as we speak. Um, is it sizable? Um, I'm still waiting for more apps to come out for it, but it's um, it was pretty neat. So I'm looking forward to seeing what else uh, this thing can do. And you can Lift also just use it as you Lift can you can just use it as a you know <laughs> Google type you know VR thing for your phone. But then with that that camera support too, it makes it so you can um, you know kind of bring it to the real world. This thing's pretty neat. Jeez. Now this one is from Keith Gable. Keith Gable, who sent me. A one of these and a some of these, and I can always use these. These look like are these ram chips? Oh, these might be. Oh, here we go. Um, they are 64k 8-bit SRAM chips. Dude, thank you so much. And some CICs it looks like too, or, or there's something else on the other side too. This is awesome, Keith. I can I can always use more of this stuff for like repros and stuff like that too. So, and this might be something special. I might have to pop this open later. Follow this as another one of those things where they're like, hey, check this out, please. And I plan on checking it out. Um, they now make the 8-bit um, dough controllers, but with uh, but Genesis looking. And then this is the uh, the device here, too. So looking forward to seeing what this can do. 8-bit dough always makes a great product. So I, I, have no, I have no problems in thinking that it's going to be an awesome, awesome thing. Um, but thank you, 8-bit dough. I'm, I'm looking forward to doing a video on this later. You know, before I get to the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo stuff, I want to cover this really quickly because this is cereal based. Um, yesterday was National Cereal Day. Now this package here, I don't know how they found me, I don't know how, how they knew who I was, but I got a package from General Mills for National Cereal Day. Oh yeah, I saw your post. And they've included, I did post it on social media, they included a bowl, and they included a spoon, 
as well as a button for Count Chocula. And the spoon actually says, John the Serial Killer. Isn't that crazy? I was like, dude, that's that's awesome. And then also a... And then a small collection of some of the awesome General Mills cereal. Uh, eh, uh, cinnamon Toast Crunch, Cocoa Puffs, Reese's Puffs, and Cheerios, as well as uh, Rice Checks. And I was literally eating Rice Checks this morning, so that's I'm gonna be over there, too. We the thank you so much, but... General Mills. We need yes, we do. We need all the cereal we can get. Some classic postcards here. Look at the cereal collection, Dad. And then we also got a note that says, um, Hi, John. It's cereal-ously... The best day of the year. Happy National Cereal Day. The average American eats over 116 <laughs> bowls of cereal per year. So join the ranks, grab your milk, and dive into your favorite box of General Mills cereal on us. Enjoy your friends at General Mills. Um, I am a huge fan of General Mills cereal. Uh, cinnamon, Ellen! Cinnamon Toast Crunch, maybe. That is Ellen on the back of the Cheerios box. Um, cinnamon Toast Crunch may be my favorite it's cereal currently. Um, and General Mills also... Back in the day, had a little something called ice cream cone cereal. If we could bring back ice cream cone cereal, that would be the best thing ever. That was my favorite cereal when I was growing up. Can I just say something? Yeah, go for it. That pun was really cheesy. Man, you guys have to catch up to my level. <clears throat> On the subject of cereal, these exist. They're both gross. I've tried know? them. I've tried them both. Um, this one is better than this one because this one just tastes like that artificial smoke, salty flavor. This one, it has the waffles part because it's like it's honey bunches of oats with the little waffle pieces, and they had like waffle crisp back in the day. It's like that, but then there's also like, these little chicken pieces. They look like drumsticks, and they taste a little salty. So it kind of makes sense, kind of, but no, don't you don't have to. And then this one. Like, as a, as a beer drinker, they had uh, the Rogue uh, Maple Bacon Ale, and it's that, you you can't emulate bacon. Bacon has to be bacon. Don't make bacon-flavored anything, just make bacon. And this, is it's not a good look. It's, thank you for trying, thank you for trying something new, not a good look. But I, I do want to show those off just because it's cereal, it's new, it's unique. And, and, like cereal. and I love, wow. I love breakfast cereal. I don't know, just for, just for fun? Wow. Chicken and waffles? I mean, chicken and waffles is like a breakfast thing, but it's like, you like I don't want chicken, f unless it's chicken and a biscuit, don't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't. Oh, yeah. Just don't. I like chicken and a biscuit. Of course you like chicken and a biscuit. It is the best cracker ever. And that is not up for discussion. All right. SoCal Retro Gaming Expo stuff. Let's cover this. Um, some cool dude dropped off some Tim Tams. <coughs> he was like, dude, I heard you don't have Tim Tams much uh, where you are. And he's right. They're They're hard to find where I live. And uh, so he, he, three packages, here's two of them, and the third one uh, is inconspicuously missing. For some reason, it just appeared at my work one day as I was munching on them when I was uh, at work. But those will, those will be I for the house. Um, I'm a huge fan of them, too. It's, it's, a, it's a quality chocolate. Here, I'll let you hold on to one of them. These are different flavors here. What are they? They're chocolate. It's candy. It's chocolate. It's and good. it's such a high quality chocolate that I mean, never mind M and M's melt in your mouth, not in your hand. Mm. This stuff will melt in your hand because it's the, the the quality of chocolate is so good. However, if you pop them in the freezer first, they're even better. Well, when I was at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, uh, the good people of Hyperkin were handing out fanny packs, so we got a, 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 a Hyperkin fanny pack. Why not? Some dude dropped off, and I didn't catch any names or anything like that. They're like, oh, hey, dude, here uh, here you go. Here's this. So I apologize if I'm not giving you a shout-out. You can give yourself a shout-out in the comments if you'd like. Um, but a couple of PlayStation 2 games. We have Shrek Super Slam and then uh, this uh, Showdown game, for the, uh, both of them for the PlayStation 2, and both of them are wrestling games that I didn't have. So uh, thank you for both of these. I thought I may have had this, but looking at my collection, I didn't. I have... Uh, I have like I have, I have a Legends of Wrestling, but not this one. Is so. there any Andre the Giant? There is Andre the Giant on this one, right there. Whenever I'm at conventions, I always look for the unique stuff, the fun stuff, the stuff I didn't even know existed. And here's a couple of games from here's Rico, and then this is called um, Vaya Latino. It's kind of like a Latino version. Uh, it's like a Latin American uh, Just Dance, but you use the Move controllers to dance for your PlayStation 4. And this Rico game actually looks pretty cool too. So I'm looking forward to checking out both of these when I get a chance. Oh, he told me his name. 
Is it Jose? I'm pretty sure it's Jose. We were talking about wrestling, talking about New Japan Pro Wrestling and stuff like that. And then he was like, oh, dude, I even have a shirt for you. I'm like, really? Seriously, dude? I'm gonna, can I put it on? And he hooked it up. Hold Look on, at this. It oh, it's the beautiful. It's the beautiful. Naito's, what's going down? Here you go. You can put it on if you'd like. It's gonna be too big for you. Uh, all of your shirts are too big for me. <laughs> hey, no, what are you saying? No, not, not one. one. You're just <laughs> a small. <laughs> Remember that? And also, I like to put them on as night gowns. There was someone who was very nice and very polite and very kind. And he's like, I know you like cereal. And I know your kids like cereal, too. So here's a mini box of cocoa marshmallows. Oh, I've heard there's like a big... And then a big old box of cereal marshmallows. <laughs> you can add those to your cereal. <coughs> I remember trying that a long time ago. Or eat them as cereal. Wait, Dad did a video on this with the, the butterfly one. Oh, the butterfly yeah, the butterfly. Well, I mean, they yeah, they have cereal marshmallows, so... Sorry. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. What about some uh, Pac-Man rub-down transfer set? I don't want, even want to use these because it's classic. And then Lloyd's going to use them. What is it? How classic is it? Look at that old-school Toys R Us sticker. Look at that old-school Toys R Us sticker. What is it? It's a, rub it's a transfer set. You, you put it on something, and then you rub it on the other side, and it transfers from the sticker paper to, like, a shirt or something, or maybe a paper. It's, it was an old thing from the 80s. Don't use it because it's from Toys R Us and A very nice lady said, I'm donating this to you. It may or may not work. It is a little something called the GameCom. It's the, it's the GameCom. Just for fun. At the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, I spoke to other... Uh, YouTubers that were there, Metal Jesus was there, the Game Chasers, and a whole lot more. Um, and then other people who weren't even on the guest list appeared there, much like Mike Matei, and then much like Vinyl Rewind, and Vinyl Rewind gave me one of his postcards. Um, if you're into vinyl reviews or just into that 70s, uh, 60s, 70s aesthetic of what videos look like, um, this dude is all, I mean, he's all about wearing suits and checking out um, vinyl, like record reviews and stuff like that. Metal Jesus knew who he was immediately. As soon as he walked up, he's like, ah, Vinyl Rewind, love this guy. And uh, they ended up chatting for a while. Then he ended up talking to Drunken Master Paul for a while about certain kind of mixed drinks from back in the day. So uh, cool to see that guy. And it was like, man, he had the look. I'm telling you. Um, I, I purchased these as well from the same company or from the same table that had the uh, Rico and the, um, and the, um, the Latino, uh, dancing yeah. game, yeah. um, had to add some more games for the switch collection. Monster boy. I played this on the way there. Super, super awesome game. My buddy banjo guy, Ollie is in it as a character, like plays the banjo. So that's kind of cool. So got wonder boy. Uh, we have this fun looking puzzle game. And then uh, I didn't even know this was a physical collection, but look how big this box is. Really looking forward to seeing this. I've, I've heard so many good things about this game, uh, the Liar Prince and the Blind Prin uh, Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. So this is um, lo looking forward to playing more of this, looking forward to beating this, and um, looking forward to checking out the puzzle game. Uh, so many great games that are coming out for the Switch all the time, so always got to keep an eye out. I contemplated showing this in this video, and I was like, I, I shouldn't, but I kind of should. They were gifted to me. Um, what happened was, a while back, there's a game called um, Job Simulator. Hello. Job Simulator for the PlayStation VR. It's one of the hardest games to find for the PlayStation VR if you're a physical collector. came out very early in the release, soon as the VR was invented or came out. Low print run. They sold out, they sold them, and now they're hard to find for people who are now buying a PlayStation VR because they made so little, limited quantities of them. You can still find them at GameStop. I did a video on that, and somebody came up to me and said, Hey, I watched your video, and here in like the Los Angeles area, I have found like 10 of them. So I'm gifting these to you. I told them I already have one. I actually have a couple of them that I use for like gifts and friends and stuff like that. And he's like, no, no, no. I've, I've found like over 10 of these. I'm gifting these to you as a thank you for helping me find so many of them. So he gifted me this and this and this. My goodness. So these are going also into the pile of, uh, of some of my local friends who are collecting. They're looking for that complete set for the PlayStation VR and they may not be able to find this game. Um, so, um, th this, this is where these are going and, um, yeah, that's insane. Uh, what he's dropping, he dropped it off. I mean, it would be like if somebody came up to you and said, Oh, Hey, uh, thanks for all your videos. Here's 300 bucks. I was like, are you sure? I, I'm just, I'm happy to help. I'm happy to, that's, that's why I do the videos. It's like, here's how, here's how I find them. So you can find them yourself. And he took that to the heart and he was like, dude, these are for you. And thank you. So 
if he's giving to me, uh, giving them to me as a thank you, then I will accept mm -hmm. them as a thank you. And I know it's one of Lily's favorite games. We already have a copy of it for, for myself personally, and um, and I, I have since I have since we didn't lose it. It's already over there. It's in a box. Um, I have since found others, and then have since gifted those other ones that I have found to some of my other friends who are looking. And then those are also going to go to kind of the next people in line who are looking for that game for their physical collection. So I, I can't thank you enough, man. You're awesome. Finally, we have this. Fragile Handle with Care. This is from Kent Maddox. Now, Kent, um, he's probably like, ah, oh, my name's not Maddox. Um, Kent Maddox? Uh, <coughs> he, he, said that, he said that he was sending this to me. I have no idea what's inside. I did open it up, but I haven't looked inside yet. Um, but he said the games that are in here are legit, and they're for us, I guess. So we're, let's, let's have a look. And this is full of all kinds of stuff. Let's check it out. We have... The Action Max Replay. The Action Replay Max. Yeah, and it has a little reflection there, too. I can probably do that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's all right. My favorite thing to do. couple of Nintendo Powers. I still love reading old Nintendo Powers. Um, I don't know if I have... I think I have this one, but I don't, yeah. know, if I, I don't know if I have this one. Yeah, you have it. Okay, well, thank you for keeping catalogs of everything I have going on, Lily. Um, this, good lord, this is actually, this is full of stuff here. Hard. No kidding. Super Monkey Ball 2. One of my favorite games. I love this game. Uh, a friend of mine gifted me the first one for, um, I know, I always look, I always look inside. There's even like a little retro car from Sega. Um, he gifted me the first one from a wedding gift, and um, I, I love, I'm a huge fan of the Monkey Ball games. We have Street Fighter Two for the Super Famicom. Very cool. And he, he, I, he made these boxes himself too, like these cases, I guess. Yeah. He said the case. He says the cases were were made, um, but the games inside are legit. So uh, thank you for this. This is fantastic. Are you like us? We're not there yet. We have Hudson's Adventure Island, the first one. This is this is for the uh, NES. Um, it's all right. You can hold that one if you want. We have Street Fighter II Turbo, which is my favorite version of the Street Fighter II games of all of them. That's right. I, I like that one even more than Super Street Fighter II, but I'm a huge fan of Street Fighter II Turbo. I'll play it right now. Speaking of which, Super Street Fighter II Turbo, my other favorite. No, dude, this, this is great to have, too. You just have the whole the Street Fighter II collection for the uh, Super Famicom, or in the Genesis, apparently. We have a Street Fighter II Championship Edition for the Genesis. Um, great. This actually plays really well for the Sega Genesis. Um, so happy to have that. Holy moly. This is new and unique. Turbo Outrun? What? I don't have this game. Dude, I love Outrun. I love Outrun. I'm not a huge fan of racing games, but there's one racing game I love, and that is Outrun. This is uh, for the Mega Drive. This is cool. Thank you, man. Dad, did another racing game, remember? I know. I love, yeah, I love uh, Horizon Chase Turbo, huh? Mm -hmm. Holy what? Seriously, dude? For the Wii U, oh man, Shantae. I love the Shantae games. Look where we I found can the have Wii U. to charge it up, Dad. I, I have a Wii U. Of course, I have a Wii U. I've I've been wanting to hook up my Wii U again just so I can play uh, some of those classic games again. We have Halo. Yeah, World. Halo. And also the Kirby. classic. Oh, we had Monkey Ball too. Here's Monkey Ball, <laughs> the first one. I love it. We have Wave Race sixty four. I remember when this game first came out, my friends and I played it all the time. I, I love the, uh, we love the water mechanics. Yeah. Yeah. Too. I'm making a stack of games over here. Oh, and on top of that, we also have Wave Race for the GameCube. I don't have this game, but this is a GameCube game I don't have. Fantastic. No, Thank you very much. Is, Laura. Thank you very, very much. Oh. And we have some Star Wars figures, it looks Star like. Wars! Star Wars Infinity? We have a Chewbacca. I call this one Chewbacca. Okay. We have this dude. We have Boba Fett. I call we it. have also... We have Ham Han Sandwich. Ham Sandwich. Oh, Han Solo, sorry. Ham Sandwich! We have Darth Nader. Darth Vader. Darth Vader. Go to it! <laughs> okay. Oops. I just that fell. And we have... <laughs> the thing I have to put back together again. Uh-oh. Uh, well, here, I'll just kind of show you. <laughs> we have Luke and Leia, the brother-sister duo I here. I want to take the lightsaber. Yeah. Oh, what'd you find, Lily? Hey, we found a, a Mario 3 for the uh, Game Boy Advance. I thought that was on this one. That's cool. Laura was just talking about maybe using the Game Boy Advance for her uh, trip to Washington, D.C. That's all we have for now, and I thank you so much. My mailing address is in the About section of every video. Never feel obliged. Never feel... 
uh, encouraged or even discouraged. Um, these are just things that come through, and I like to show off some of the things I've picked up recently. I haven't bought a whole lot of uh, new games recently, but I did pick up those uh, those so Switch games. Stuff. I picked up those Switch games at the uh, SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. Oh, and I got this shirt, too. If you're curious about this shirt, uh, I'll check out a link in the description below. Lily doesn't like this shirt very much. I like this shirt. And, yeah. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, um, like my dad said, let me explain more about the Washington DC trip. So it's like sponsored by the school and it's for only for eighth graders. So like a lot of my friends are going to be there. Go to sleep, buddies. Anyway, so as I was saying, oh wait, I have this candle now. Yo, what up? Listen up, you got Lord here. Back at it again. We're taking over the channel. You and me, Lily? You wanna do it? Yeah. Anyway, see you later! <laughs> Bye!